In my experience teaching writing, I generally get two very different reactions to the freedom to choose an essay topic. Some students love having the freedom to come up with their own subject, while others would much rather just be told what to write about. As we've seen in other movies, some college essay requirements are fairly open-ended, like most personal statement prompts that allow you to write on any topic. Optional essays like Harvard's also generally offer more flexibility. Even with provided prompts like the five the Common App offers, you still have some leeway when selecting a topic. The prompts give you the freedom to write about a broad range of things. The incident or time when you experienced failure one could be about anything from losing a Monopoly game to your sister when you were seven to failing to qualify for the Junior Olympic rowing team. One of the most important things to know about choosing a topic is that the Monopoly game essay could be every bit as meaningful and effective as the one about the Junior Olympic team. The event itself isn't the key to success. It's the way you write about it. One of my favorite Virginia Woolf essays is called The Death of the Moth. It's just as powerful as another favorite of mine called Shooting an Elephant by George Orwell. It's the writer's insight about the event that counts, not the magnitude of the event itself. As you start to think about drafting your own personal narrative, I encourage you to read both of these essays. You'll find them included in the list of recommended reading in the exercise files for this course. So, how do you get started? The pre-writing process is actually made up of several phases, each of which should bring you closer to refining a topic for your essay. The first phase of pre-writing, which I'm sure you've heard of, is called brainstorming and it can take on a number of different forms. It's really nothing formal or fancy. It could be a bulleted list, a drawing with boxes and arrows, stream of consciousness sentences, or even sketches with captions. Whatever works for you. Once you start doing this, you might be surprised with what you have tucked away in your subconscious. If you're choosing from among the five common app prompts, start by brainstorming a list of ideas for at least three of the five. If you're generating a topic from scratch, you can follow this same process. In fact, you may want to adapt one of the common app prompts to give you a place to start. Set a timer for two or three minutes and write straight through. Don't worry about spelling, punctuation, or sentence structure. Just write down whatever comes into your head. Once your two-minute brainstorming is finished, look back over what you came up with. Pick one of these three lists to develop further. If you have two really solid lists, you may want to move on to phase two with both of them, one at a time. In the second phase of pre-writing, you should start to connect ideas and ask further questions. Some writers use the five W's and H at this stage, the who, what, when, where, why, and how. The why and how are particularly important for our purposes in this essay. It may take some practice, But this phase of the process should help move you toward a deeper understanding of the topic you've chosen. In the final phase of pre-writing, try to think in terms of what your reader will take away from your essay. What will they learn about you when they've finished reading that they didn't know already? This takeaway is going to provide you with the focus you need to keep your essay on target. You might not know exactly what the takeaway is until you've finished but you should at least have a tentative idea when you start to keep you focused. If what I'm describing is starting to sound suspiciously like a thesis statement, you're right, it is. But although it will act in the same way as a thesis, it won't look like the one that you know. You won't necessarily find it in the same place on the page. We'll be talking more about focus and organization in an upcoming movie. Just a brief word of caution. Not all topics are appropriate or advisable for you to write about. In general, you should try to steer clear of any topic that is openly offensive or derogatory. Be sensitive to the expectations of your audience when you choose a topic, and avoid subjects that might put off your reader or trigger a negative response. The last thing you want to do is to offend the person whose decision determines your admission or rejection. There are also some topics that, for one reason or another, you should definitely try to avoid. According to College Confidential's Dave Barry, admissions officials are so tired of seeing these topics that writing about them could actually be a liability. Topics in this category include big sports games, the death of a pet, 
or achieving world peace. You're much better off selecting an original topic that hasn't become so cliched. Once you have a viable topic and the beginnings of an idea about the takeaway, you'll be ready to move into the next stage of the writing process, structuring and drafting, which we'll tackle in our next movie.